Kamusta mga Epektos at welcome sa bahay ni Pekto. Dito sa Perf Talk na to, we have a very special guest. Hindi niyo siya kilala but um, isa siya sa mga behind the scenes uh, sa isang malaking pedal company, ang Eventide. Eventide ay kilala sa effects. Okay, so uh, studio quality and studio standard effects. Mula pa nung... Uh, 70s, 80s? Oh, Eight? mga eh, 70s, yeah. Hanggat nung mga, yeah. mga digital delay, tsaka yeah. mga H3000 yung For, pinaka-famous he, namin, mga ganun-ganun. Yeah, so ito si Patrick Flores. Okay. Kamusta po? Nang Eventide. So, si Patrick, hindi stranger sa sa main channel ko. Maraming nagulat nung Stompbox <laughs> exhibit. Oo oh, nga. Kala nila, hindi na ko. Ito ay Tagalog. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos biglang, nagt- biglang nagtagalog. Nagulat lahat eh. Tapos may mga comment na, oh, Nung nagtagalog si Patrick, gusto ko nang bumili ka agad ng Eventide. <laughs> <laughs> Miss kaya na umuwi tayo sa Pinas eh, kasi nag-uwi ako on sub ng February. Right, right, right. Pagka-uwi ko, nagpunta ako sa mga store, sabi nila, Hoy, Tagalog ka? Tagalog ka? Sabi ko, opo, Tagalog. Ang galing ng Tagalog mo. Ayos ah! <laughs> Parang secret power yan eh sa, sa US. Pag may mga Pilipino na nagsasalit ng Tagalog, uh-huh. sabihin ko lang, Hoy, kamusta? Sabi lang, Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Pa, kasi, syempre, yung mga Pilipino, laging naghahanap din ng kapwa Pilipino para may kap- camaraderie at mm-hmm. community, mm-hmm. di ba? Oh. Mm-hmm. So, ngayon, um, based ka sa New Jersey. New Jersey pa. Right? Yeah. Tapos, uh, kailan ka lumipat doon? Mga mad- ano, malayo na, mga siguro 2012, mga mm-hmm. ganun-ganun. No, no, actually, mga siguro mas 2009. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2009. Yeah, so mga 11 or 12 years old ako nung lumipad ako dito. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So, doon ka na nag-high uh, school at saka... So, yung yung high school sa Pinas, di ba pagkatapos nung 6th grade straight to ano, high school? Oh, yeah, school. yeah. yeah. Oh, so, yung time na yun, hindi pa yung grade 12. Oh, hindi uh, pa. So, I think nagpunta ako doon mga... Nag-6th like, grade na ako, tapos mag-transfer na ako sa high school. Mm-hmm. Pero pagkatating ko dito, then nag, like, ano, grade 7 at grade 8 before high school. Okay. Uh-huh. And then... Noong time na yun, nagigitara ka na? Uh, hindi pa ako nagigitara, pero yung kuya ko, ano, magaling sa gitara. Okay. Actually, yung yung parents ko, sabi nila, oh, you take piano lessons, or <laughs> pero hindi ko talaga nagustuhan. <laughs> Ang, until nakapunta ako dito sa US, and, you know, hindi ako nakapag-fit in sa school. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung isa kong, ano, kaibigan, nagigitara. So, nagpretend ako na, oh, yeah, I know how to play the bass, mm-hmm. I know how to do that. And alam ko lang yung parang, ano, yung, yung alam mo yung killing in the name of? Yung, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yun lang nilaro ko sa bass. Hindi ko nga alam yung bass. Akala ko bass yung acoustic guitar. Eh. Right, 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 right. Pero yun, yun lang. Nag, nag, naglaya ko. Tapos from there on, na-addict ako sa guitar. Yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. So, so school band parang... Oo, oh, uh, ganun. Pero sa so school, actually, sa college, ano, ang yung instrument ko is tuba. Ba- oh, bago ako oh. nag-transfer sa guitar. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, so nag-scholarship ako sa tuba. Tapos nag-transfer sa gitara. Okay. Sa New Jersey na rin to? Yung college ko sa Albany, New York. Albany, okay, mm-hmm. okay, nice. So, uh, diretso East Coast ka pala? Oh, lahat, lahat East Coast. Hindi pa ako nakatira sa West Coast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, how far along nung, nung uh, nagsimula ka, uh, nung mag-decide ka na, you know, papasok ako ng event title mm-hmm. or, or, or mag-music ako ng full-time? <sighs> Pretty immediately, kasi inisip ko... Yung parang pa sa mga Pilipino, di ba, nurse, nurse yeah, no, healthcare, oh, healthcare para, yeah, yeah. basta may pera. Pero uh-huh. ako talaga, hindi para sa akin yun, hindi ko, na, hindi ko naintindihan yung mga sciences. Yeah. Even though I can grasp yung basics of it, mm-hmm. I just didn't want to do it. Tapos, nung nag-start ako nag-play ng guitar, yung kaibigan ko, na nag-like ko, he would take me to his lessons with him. Tapos mm-hmm. sabi ko, this is so fun, this is this is the best. Mm-hmm. So from that point on, I was like, I'm just gonna focus on music. So gising ako, pick up ko ka yung guitar, learn some Three Days Grace songs, right, right. mga ganon-ganon. Right. Tapos yung, nung, ano, just listen to Megadeth, mm-hmm. mga metal na ganon. It wasn't until, ano, until college na I, I listened to more like fusion, mga Guthrie okay. Gov and Alan oh, Goldsworth, wow. oh, okay. mga ganon-ganon. Pero... Miski naman sa Pilipinas, I was already listening to guitar music. I just didn't know that I could actually do it. Yung mga ah. solos mo, sa mga River Maya, sa Francis M, mga <laughs> yeah. ka- Chapa Rocky ni Edgar, yeah, yeah. yung mga pinapakinggan ko sa Pilipinas. Okay, mm. okay. Yeah. And then, paano mo nahanap yung Eventide? Eventide nahanap ko kasi may event sa New York, pangalan niya AES, Audio Engineering Society. Okay. So sa school namin, we would take a trip every year. So AES, pang mga estudyante, makita nila yung ano, 
different gears, different right. like professional like studio audio, maganong ganon. Like regular students or music students? Music students. Okay, okay. Music students. Tapos uh, nakita ko yung Eventide booth, naghahanap ako ng internship. So mm-hmm. tinanong ko yung Eventide, you guys looking for an internship or are you guys located? Tapos chance lang na nasa New Jersey din sila. Mm. Tapos ganun. After that, it was rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, th- that's great. Kasi yung ang, ang impression ko ng Eventide is very, you know, kasi digital engineering. Mm-hmm. Yung, alam mo yun, very, very... Uh, like STEM, uh, mathematic talaga. Yeah, mathematic. Yeah. Typ- typical na nakalab ko. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alam mo yun. Mm-hmm. But then when I, when I met you guys uh, sa NAMM show, and, and of course the rest of the team, parang, mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's, it's this is like so different from ko ano yung naisip ko yeah. initially. Yeah. Yeah. Kaya, 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 kaya it's great. And then it's also great that yung even tag ngayon is more um it's probably how, how should I say this? Parang pinapakita nila ngay- lumalabas kayo ngayon tapos pinapakita niya yung yung more of your personality as opposed mm-hmm. yung naka yung puro rock lang na uh, alam mo yan. Yeah. Yun yung importante sa amin kasi we've been around for like mga 50 years. Mm. Tapos yung yung main core audience talaga namin is the more high end like yeah. you know effects lalo na dati. Yeah, yeah. Yung mga studio effects mga ganun ganun. Actually yung yung first invento ng Eventide yung digital delay ginamit nila kasi sa mga malaking concerts mm-hmm. um parang kailangan mo i-delay yung signal from the stage to the line arrays. Yeah yeah yeah. So, ganun niya in-invent yung digital delay. So, talagang from the get-go, it was already like high-end stuff. It's yeah. not until like recently, like within the last 10 years, na kami, oh, let's do consumer products that people can buy and really like, you know, tune into and get creative. But it was never like just regular pedals. It was always right. something like weird and like, you know, yeah, yeah. like inspirational. Yeah. Um, so, ngayon na like we're hiring more people or we hired more people that's like representing the, you know, the brand that's more personable right, and, right. and less like intimidating like what you you know kind of perceive right right yeah yeah because like you h3000 i mean i really love the sound i recorded with it in the 90s mm-hmm. i used it's uh tridaxis album it's a wolfgang album it's it's like yeah. it's all over the the, the yeah. famous h3000 patch yeah the detune right? yep. um and then it's up to a certain point it was it was something that uh, even for me, it was a piece of gear. Na uh, ah, pangarap ko na lang yan. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, or or if if I can if I can use it, I'll just go into a studio where yeah. it has it and and you yeah. know. Yung... Yung lang yung parang magic sauce sa mga studio. Pag nakita yeah. mo, it's like okay, let's plug into this. Mag- yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. No, exactly. But not never na naisip ko na magkakaroon ako. Uh-huh. Alam yun. And then. Uh, and then you know, meet kita sa Stampbox exhibit. I mean, uh, before that, we've been talking on on, on, on social, Facebook, yeah. Facebook and social media. You know, that's yung that's uh, we 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 finally met in person sa Stampbox exhibit. Mm. It's like, oh, this is this is so cool. Yeah. And then I started doing more stuff for Eventide, yeah. and, and every pedal is like, you know, very very uh, it's very deep. Yeah. But at the same time, hindi siya out of reach. Yeah. Hindi siya uh, tag dito. Hindi, uh, hindi mo kailangan ng degree para magpatun- para uh, patunogin. Oh, uh, miski yung mga luma naming products, yung mga rock mount especially, you almost need a degree to use eh. Sobrang hirap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pero yung mga gatong ginamit na, yung mga bago, yung H90, tsaka lalo itong Riptide, talagang mm. ang, ang main, ano namin, objective is easy. You're right. Make it easy, make it satisfying, and just like a magic box. Right, you know right, I mean? right. Yeah. Right. Ngayon, an- ano yung exact role mo sa Eventide? Sa Eventide? So, Eventide, maliit na company lang kami. Mm-hmm. Tapos, shout out sa Eventide kasi nag-hire silang maraming mga Pilipino. So, mga apat kami doon, lalo na na small company. Yeah! Pinoy! <laughs> Pinoy power! <laughs> so, lagi sa, sa Eventide, pag nakita ko si Kuya Jerry, sabi ko, Kuya Jerry, kamusta po? <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, pero, role ko sa Eventide um, is product manager, Artist relations, content producer. Tapos ngayon na is a uh, ano, product designer for with Riptide. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So um, with the Riptide, ito yung pinakabago, di ba? Oh, pinakabago to. Uh oh, and it's a drive. Yep, drive and a Univibe. And, and, and a Univibe. Yeah. Which is great, because Eventide ang ang kilalang Eventide for like 
clean, big ambient sounds, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, not yeah. necessarily dirty tones. Yes, no, not dirty you know. tones at all. Pero yung yung dinay design lot, they trusted me there. So I've been at Eventide for about six years. Mm-hmm. That was they trusted me to be like, okay, you know your drive tones, because uh, hey, I collect drive pedals everywhere. Right. Because right. I know, uh, alam ko importante sa drive is not just the sound but the feel. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and like the the response, right? If I right. turn my volume down, I want it to respond like a drive. Right. Right. So they trusted me. They paired me up with an engineer. Pangalan niya si Jacob. Okay. Tapos kami ni Jacob nasa studio like multiple times a week just tuning, tuning, right. tuning. Tapos pagkasabi niya, okay, how do you like this sound? Sabi ko, a little bit too, you know, harsh. Tune down the high end. Ko code niya yung high end. The drop niya sa pedal. We'll yeah. try it again. Tapos ganun lang, back and forth and back and forth. Dude, that's like, that's like yung uh, yung stories na e- si Eddie Van Halen mm. or nasa nasa warehouse ng PV tapos mm-hmm. nag, uh, there's a literal guy changing resistors while he's playing na oh. ay paano paano and then eh, palitan mo yan palitan mo yan oh. o, or Richie Blackmore with Marshall you know that story is talagang, that... talagang ganun talaga okay. talagang maglalaro kami we have two, uh, stereo fender amp set up so talagang super clean mm-hmm. And then this is just like a pedal parang dun sa platform na yun. Okay. Tapos we'll, we'll reference, you know, humbucker, single coils, P90s, mga right. yun ang ganon. So habang naglalaro ko, we're both listening to it. Sabi ko, it's not responding quite right. That's right. We're, we're adjusting stuff. So, right, right. Yeah, it was it was nice, honestly. It was it was a good process. Yeah. Tapos I felt like, am I even worthy of doing this? <laughs> no, <I'm like, laughs> right. no, no. You, you, you got in, you. I mean, I'm pretty sure for that company, um... It's not just they didn't entrust you the job just because it was convenient. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah. you could deliver. Yeah, you know, and I, I've seen you play, dude. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and then also, um, meron kami video ni Patrick talking uh, in depth about the Riptide, uh, which in Tagalog. In Tagalog, <laughs> both Tagalog and English. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, are, are we're that's going out on, on the, the Eventide page. Yeah, <laughs> on the Eventide that's page. That's good. Yeah. That's perfect. So, yeah. magkakaroon ng Tagalog content sa Eventide yes. YouTube. <laughs> It's really important to me, especially in Eventide, to bring on like Filipino audience. Because mm. I'm proud of our work. Yes. I know that this is more high-end. Then when we came back to the Philippines, that we met Guitar Pusher. Right. I know they carried some, but I, yeah. I just wanted Eventide to be more... I don't know. Accessible. Like, uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, accessible. Tapos, I want it to be like more in the Philippines. Right, right, Tapos, right. Because when I met you, I already knew like the stuff you were doing. I already knew you. So... You were a big part of bringing even uh, to the Philippines. Thank you. Seriously, <laughs> yeah, no yeah, joke. no, no. I, yeah, because I, 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 I really like the pedals. I, I like everything that you do. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 one, it's hard to get there. Yes. And two, if you order from outside, it becomes you know unattainable for most budgets. Yes. You know? So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that it's now available there locally, mm-hmm. and then they can try it out, and then they can decide for themselves. Because yeah. A lot of times, titing namo ka like uh, like black hole, spacey reverb, uh-huh. space, di ba? Ah, kaya yun ang ganitong pedal, tatas ko lang yun. Oh, yung decay. Oh. You know, but then hindi mo masasabi yon, dahil hindi mo naman na experience para mm-hmm. eh, mm-hmm. di ba? Until you experience the actual thing, yeah. Then then you can then try to make your own judgments. Exactly. Oh, pero now. Uh, dati hindi hindi possible isubukan. Yeah, but now ngayon, ngayon, ngayon pwede na. Pwede na. Pwede na. Yeah, sa guitar so, pusher, yeah. tapos try out niyo sa guitar pusher yung H90, H9, tsaka mga iba naming pedal, it's mm-hmm. it's there. Eh, yun, yun talaga ang masaya sa mga products namin, I think, is like, it's like an inspiration machine. So yes. you could turn yung, yung, yung knob, tapos activate that preset, and it, ano, you can play a certain way. Talagang it, it guides you to a certain style. Yes, yes you know it what does. I mean? Tapos ko, if you're bored, talagang hindi mo na alam kung anong gusto mong i-write, hindi mo na alam kung you feel like you're in the box too much, you're mm-hmm. writing the same thing over and over mm-hmm. again. Subukan mo yung mga creative pedals na to, I think it'll take you out of there. Yes, yeah. yes, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Okay, Patrick, uh, what do we have to, what what is there to look forward to? To look forward to? So <laughs> yung... <laughs> 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 yung layo ko sa event ay de, pag mga may mga upcoming project is like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no pero um uh, marami marami so now we're back in the the pedal game kaka kaka labas lang ng H90 tapos yung Riptide is like brand new mm-hmm. by the time this releases yeah um uh pero we're gonna work on more dot nine smaller pedals mm-hmm. and like pedals that are you won't expect I think okay, okay yeah yeah mga signature pedals with some artists that 
you won't see coming. Okay, for sure. So yeah, we'll 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 definitely look forward to that. Okay, so thank you, Patrick, for thank for you, grace, Bobo, yeah. gracing Perf Talk, yeah. and we'll do this some more. Medyo na ubus kami ng oras ngayon eh. mm-hmm. Hopefully, uh, sana mas mahaba to, but. Uh, I will say, yeah, like, when I met Kuita Kuya outside of guitar pedals, wala ako kung nakilala ang mga Pilipino with the same hair texture. Ah, it's so rare. <laughs> Kaso nakita kita, sabi ko, shit, finally. Kasi pinayin ko yung vocal. Nakakita ka rin ng kulot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kulot Pilipino, we don't exist a lot. <laughs> Pero yun, hair flip, buwah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya ano, num- numinipis na itong buho ko eh. Ako din, ako din. Ako din. <laughs> <laughs> Matagal ka pa, bata ka pa eh. <laughs> Okay, so let's let's jam out. Uh, yeah. Tingnan natin. This is the sound of the riptide na mm-hmm. mabigat. With a little tape echo on the uh, from the H90. H90. Yeah. Okay, anong gusto mong riff? Uh, Ikaw na magsimula. Ikaw na magsimula. Sige, sige. Susundan ka tayo. gagawin, like, share, subscribe, punta kayo sa uh, Eventide uh, YouTube channel, ilalagay ko lahat ng link sa mm-hmm. description at saka sa end screen subscribe kayo doon, abangan nyo yung uh, Riptide video uh, in Tagalog, actually uh, partner rin to ng launch nun Apa. so, yeah. so mag, 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 magtuturoan tayo ng, <laughs> magtuturoan tayo ng video, yeah. then Patrick meron kang mga, uh, mga projects mo diba? yung Apo. banda mo, so follow nyo po yung banda ko, Bad Mothers at Bad, Bad Mothers Music, tapos follow nyo po yung personal page ko at Who is Mystery Child. Yun. Na, nasa, nasa uh, pati yung Spotify ng Bad, ng Mother. Bad Mothers. Po. So, so, lahat ng links na yun ilalagay ko sa, uh, ilalagay ko sa description. Anyway, kunin niya yung gitara nyo, practice kayo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>